Hello there and welcome to Dolan Bikes. My name is John and today's a very exciting one because you have just received your brand new Dolan TR1 Carbon Triathlon TT bike on your doorstep. You've got a box like this in your house and it's my job today to tell you how to turn this into a wind-defying machine of mass destruction. Let's get started. So here we have it, my time trialing aficionados. This is what your TR1 should look like when you open the box. Your ski slash TT bars will need attaching. So will your seat post, that can be located down here next to the rear wheel. And your front wheel will need attaching as well. You may have noticed this little guy here. This is a DI2 battery because this particular TR1 has been specced with 11 speed Shimano DI2. That will need to be inserted into the seat post when we attach that. And that is exactly what we are going to start with today, is the seat post. So, step one of attaching your seat post, if you can contain your excitement, is to take the bike out of the box. First thing I'm gonna do is take this bit of cardboard off. There we go, just pop it to one side. I'm gonna lift the frame in the rear wheel out of your box. I'm gonna pop it on this floor stand here. Carefully placing the forks on the floor. What you're gonna do then is take the foam that the forks are resting in inside the box, just like that, and pop that on the floor and rest the forks back inside. There you go. So now we're ready to get the seat post out. So your seat post should now be nice and easy to take out the box now that your bike's out of the way. What you're gonna notice is your clamp is taped to the seat post. What you're gonna do is take that off, put the post to one side, make sure all the tape's been removed from the clamp, because what we're gonna do is just insert that into the seat tube now. There we go, of course with the bolt facing up. And there we go, that'll make it easier for us to get the seat post in in just a minute. Because what we're gonna do is take our scissors and cut away the tape around the battery. So we can then insert that into the seat post. There we go, being nice and careful as we cut all the bits of tape away. There we go. There we go, so the scissors go back to one side. As we get all the bits of tape off, making sure the shims just go to one side for a second as we take the battery and our seat post and pop the battery into the middle of the seat post where it's widest, makes it easier to fit in. We're nice and firmly in there. Then we're gonna take each shim and put it up to the side like that. This just makes the battery a bit more secure in the seat post. So your next step is gonna to be to feed the wire down into the seat tube making sure it doesn't stick out as we stick the seat post in. There we go, push it nice and firmly down there. There we go, that should be able to go in there now. So you're gonna take your four mil Allen key and tighten this up. There we have it folks, your seat post is nice and secure, ready to cut through the wind. Now, the TR1 is no ordinary beast, it's ferocious, it's untamable. So what we're gonna need is our torque wrench and tighten that seat post up to a maximum of 10 newton meters. So there we go, the seat post is nice and secure in our bike, and now we're gonna fit the front wheel. So, I know what you're thinking, but John from Dolan Bikes, there's some tape and bubble wrap in the way. How do I get the front wheel in? Whatever will I do? What a fine question that is, dear customer, because we're gonna take our trusty scissors and cut away the tape and bubble wrap around the forks. So, what you're gonna notice 
is that there's a little red spacer between your brake calipers and your axle should already be fitted in the forks for you. What you're gonna need is your six mil Allen key to take that out and to take the spacer out, it simply just pulls away like that. So let's get our Allen key, take the axle out and pop the front wheel in. So you've taken your front wheel out of the box, but if you look back inside the front wheel box, what you're gonna notice is this little bag of goodies. This is a pack of essentially any accessories that you buy with your bike. So any pedals that you've ordered with the bike, they should be in here. If it's a DI2 build, your charger should be in here. And you've got spare risers for your TT bars, which I'll just go through when it comes to fitting those. So you just take it out and pop it to one side for now. So what you're gonna do is take your six mil Allen key and take your axle out of the forks. There we go, should just slide out there. And then what you're gonna do is take your front wheel, moving the foam out the way and ensuring the rotor's on the correct side. Then you're gonna take your axle again, slide it back through and tighten it up. Now, that's only finger tight for now. What we're gonna do is take our old friend, Monsieur Torque Do Wrench, and tighten that up to 12 Newton meters. So there we go. Your front wheel is nice and secure on your bike. So here we are, our TR1 is starting to take shape. And what a lovely looking shape it is so far as well but we're not finished yet because we need to attach our TT bars. Because we do not expect you to ride them in this position, although that would be very impressive and we'd love to see it. Nonetheless, what you're gonna need to attach these is a riser kit and your riser bolts. I'm gonna be fitting the 20 mil today, but you can fit whichever size you like. And for this, you're gonna need your five mil Allen key. So let's cut away some of this tape and get access to our first TT bar. So what you're gonna do to attach your TT bars is take one of your risers just like that, one of your bolts, align it up here with the holes in the correct position. Then you're gonna slide one of the bolts in, ensuring any cables are out of the way so you can get the bolts in properly. There we go. Then you're gonna take your first TT bar and make sure it's lined up correctly with the bolt. Just like that. There we go. Now we don't want it too tight for now because we're gonna take our second bolt. As there are two bolts per bar, we're gonna slide it in the other hole. Again, making sure it's all lined up correctly before we take our five mil again and tighten it up. There we go. And you can adjust those bolts to bring up your bars ever so slightly or bring them down ever so slightly. So let's get our scissors and cut away the tape so we can get access to our second TT bar. So, bar number one is attached. Next step is, you guessed it, to attach bar number two. So, exact same process as before. Put the riser on first, put the bolt through, grab your TT bar, making sure the grip screws in there are all aligned up correctly. Take your five mil Allen key and make and line them up and start tightening the bolts. There's one. <clears throat> now you can get your second bolt into the second hole.
and tighten that up, making sure the bars are nice and level and aligned. There we go. So there you have it. Your TT bars are nice and attached and secure on your TR1. So there we have it, the third and final part of our assembly process is complete. But those bolts have only been finger tightened at the moment, so what you're going to do is take your torque wrench with a 5mm Allen socket on it and tighten each of those four bolts up to 6 Nm. There's one. There's two. It's important that you ensure the bars are adjusted to your own personal specifications as well before tightening them properly. And then go around the other side. There's three. There's four. So there we go, ladies and gents. Your TR1 is all set up and ready to roll. So, ladies and gents, your Dolan TR1 carbon triathlon and TT bike is ready to rock, ready to roll, ready to ride. Your foes and rivals aren't gonna be able to believe their eyes as they fall behind with the sheer power output that I'm sure you will be producing on this bike very soon. In terms of a few things that are on this bike that came on the bike, such as your hydration tank, your top shoe box, and your toolkit, these can all be removed if you would like. If you've got any more questions about the TR1, you can see the link to it in the description down below that'll take you directly to our website. Alternatively, you can contact us by email or phone and we will do our best to assist you in any way we can. Follow us on our social media channels, the links to those are in the description down below as well for all the latest news and updates about Dolan bikes. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about all things Dolan. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy riding your new TR1.